What is going on, people? How are we today? Steve Mingle Co., Final Web Design, and today I want to go into a little story about how I have created my business, how I've created my web firm, what the process was, how long it took, where I'm at now. Final Web Design, this is Steve. So this is a good story for anybody who's trying to get out there and build their own digital business or just build a business in general. A lot of these uh, techniques or things that I did in the past are relevant still today. Um, so here's kind of the long and short. Uh, basically got out of university I think 2008 so I was kind of launched into digital marketing because I got my degree in marketing and sales and business and the first thing I got out into the real world was Google Ads. And this was at a time period when like social medias were just coming out and the whole cost per clicks and all these new digital marketing outlets were starting. And the school itself had not really prepared us because the four years prior, all these things were just coming out and they were very new. So there was no curriculum or anything to teach us how to do these skills. So basically I got into the position and right away I realized that doing Google Ads I was going to need to know how to work websites so I could set up things like landing pages and conversions and analytics and all these things that I wanted to use so that I could make sure that my you know job was performing well. So basically, long story short, got into the Google Ads, really loved it. It was very complicated at first, but you know, you just kind of stick with it every day and things started happening. We were getting a lot of return. Um, so long story short, that's kind of how I got into web design was that I got out of school and marketing and everything was digital. So the website became where I was sending everybody. And then I realized like I got to learn web design. So. Long story short, I actually left that position. That's when I moved down to Miami because at the time my girlfriend was going to law school. So I was like, all right, I'm going to come down there and, and live with you. One of the first positions I got was with the moving company down in Miami. And right away they were just like, yo, can you bring us sales? Can you bring us leads? Can you bring us, you know, any type of business? And I was like, yeah, I think I can. Like if you'll give me a budget and you'll let me do things like Google ads and you'll let me do things like, uh, you know, landing pages and things like this, I think I can. So with this moving company, I started getting out there. And at that time I was posting a lot of like Craigslist ads. This used to work back in the day. Great. You'd post one in the morning, the afternoon, the night, and people would find those services on Craigslist and your ad would obviously be there. And it was doing them with a lot of HTML so that they'd actually show up with like pictures and a little bit of design and stuff. I mean, it was very basic, but at the same time, you know, it worked and they were getting a lot of business. And then I started actually working on their website because when I got there, they had a really nice website, but it was outsourced by another company. And I was like, look, I want to start making landing pages around moving companies in the local area. I want to start doing blogs. There were things I wanted to do, but I just didn't have the skills yet. So I really went home and I was just, I pulled up Adobe Dreamweaver and I remember building my first little website and uh, I was all into SEO too because through the marketing, I was like, well, you know, you had these tags and these descriptions and things like that. And clearly your business is going to uh, be found a lot easier on Google. And this was all kind of new too. This is maybe 2009, 2010 period. So once I got into that, I realized like, look, I can build websites on the side for people too. Like I'm going to keep my job. I'm going to keep doing what I do. And then I'm going to uh, build websites for other people. And so I started building websites on the side. The first one was for a friend's family in Minnesota. And I took on the project and I'll tell you that thing was actually turned out really well, but like the first week just trying to set up the server and the hosting and the platform and it, it was a huge undertaking that, I mean, what takes me now a few hours took me days, if not weeks back then to get it all kind of together and organized. So basically I got that site out. It worked uh, great. I had a really good interaction with the customer. I started taking on more side projects. I started posting my own Craigslist ads. I started, um, you know, just finding ways to get my name out there as a web developer on the side while maintaining my main job. So I always had my main job as my income. This was all just extra. Forward ahead a little bit longer 
and I am doing less and less work at the office from the company. I'm doing more and more work on the side. So I actually got an office downtown Miami at the time because I had a few big projects that were going on. I'm talking like six figure projects. One was a online uh, social site and um, I was working on that. And another one was kind of a similar social site where you could like rent horses and it was a, another complex build. Um, so I had that residual coming in every month. So then I got the office. I took on like two employees. I got one of my good friends to come in and we basically just had a great few years. We had a sick office downtown. I mean, we had the PlayStation, we had the projectors. We had a great room for people to come and visit and sit down. Um, and we did all that for a long time. And then at one point I, you know, we lost one of the main customers and like, we just weren't as needing of the office because we were going there less and less. We were already in this transition of where things have really headed today with digital software development. And that's that whole remote working and working, you know, in your own time, in your own space. And I would be at the, the my house on Miami Beach and I'd be like, well, do I really want to beat traffic down to the office? Like, I'm just going to log in. And that started happening more. So we actually got rid of the office, which just freed up, you know, a little bit of money um, and started doing more and more remote. But we are still heavily aggressive building our website, building landing pages, building blogs, all the things to keep the traffic coming, getting reviews um, and continue to build that. So that in the long story, I was also keeping my little side job, but I was only going into the office one day a week for the company and I would go for half a day. So like I totally like it, it didn't even phase me. It was like going to a meeting every week to kind of sit down, review everything, maybe pull in a few uh, pictures or something on the site for the client, um, actually employee at that time. So I was now having two sources of income and that's when I was like, well, I'm gonna go spend a little time with my family up in Minnesota and I wanna do some traveling. So we basically went strictly remote. And at this time, our website is like number one search of Miami web design, Miami web development firm. I mean, all these keywords related to the Miami local area and website services, internet marketing services, social media services. And we always tried to retain our customers. Now, this was a long growing period and why I think we've still been very successful is because there's a thing in web development. I hear this from so many customers that end up finding us and that end up wanting to work with us. And they're just like, look, the last person or company or kid in his bedroom, he disappeared. We have no idea where he is. Our website isn't finished. And I'm like, oh, I've heard that. I've heard that a million times. And that that happens like I, I hate to say this industry has a lot of people who underbid stuff and then they end up getting like over uh over they can't perform to the maximum that the client's expecting but we had a system in place where we could you know project management software and good communication where we could avoid all those issues so i go back to just maintaining our client base I was very professional with all of our clients and like, well, how can we keep them, you know, in the pipeline? Let's get them hosting services. Let's get them updates and upgrades. Let's do their security. Let's manage their emails. There's all these other things that we could start to do to help our clients kind of manage and maintain their business for a lot less than what it would cost them to hire somebody internally in house and pay them to do these services for them. So I would say we just had really good customer retention because we made really good websites and we really, really cared about their overall success. And that will kind of bring me up to where currently, so everything's incorporated taxes for 10 years. I mean, we've been established at this point um, and we're still ranking number one on, on Miami web design till today. And a lot of that is because again, we practice what we preach and we work hard to get to where we're at. So now we're at a position where uh, we're doing a lot more, again, still remote type work. We do have an office still in Miami, but it's more of like a conference center that we can go to and rent when we need it and uh, bring the clients in. It's got all the furniture and you know all the stuff that we need. So I don't have to be responsible for uh, basically coming up with the whole office because I just don't use it enough. Uh, and I love to travel. I travel a lot because I work a lot and it kind of balances life and uh, work. And so what I would like to say just there is, I mean, today we are still the number one company. 
We grew from nothing, not even knowing how to build a website, to being the top Miami web firm in the local area. And it just took a lot of years and a lot of misses and hits and a lot of just working very hard to keep our clients happy to get to this point. And where do I see us in the next 10 years? Well, this kind of goes into what happened in 2020 and how everything kind of went even more remote and more distant. So that's actually really helped our business because everything from government, schools, uh, you know, restaurants, hotel, everything is being done online more and more. And every kind of business is needing our services. So that brings us to today. And today we're doing really great. We have a great firm. Uh, we'd love to work with you guys if you're looking for website or digital marketing. But where I see us over the next 10 years is we're going to take the market. We have other multiple proxy little smaller sites that are being built. We have um, you know clients in the pipeline for days, if not weeks, if not months because we just have things that we're gonna be doing for them in the future and we, I, again, I will answer my call, my phone, at any moment a customer calls almost. I mean, sometimes if it's Saturday night and I'm at dinner, no, I really won't, but I'll get back to them immediately Monday. Um, so just keeping that customer retention. And that's how I've built my business and that's how I think you need to focus if you are trying to build any type of business you need to make sure that you have some type of income to fund it because the first few years there is a lot of expenses you have to take on a lot of responsibility as far as buying software buying computers buying office space buying taxes or paying for taxes all these things that you don't have to take as a w-2 employee but that's where keeping your full-time job is very beneficial because it'll give you that opportunity to um, continue to make money well uh, you know building up your business to a point where it can sustain itself so guys that's the story i wanted to just tell how i created my business what my story was and if you do want help building your business online let us know we'd love to help you and with that guys we will catch you in the next video take care